Former virgins of Reddit, how was your first time? Story 1. I was too nervous and anxious to keep it hard long enough for insertion. Scene looked like a time lapse of a wilting plant. She was kind and patient though. A few minutes later and some more heavy petting I was ready to disappoint her properly. And boy did I. Story 2. Not too bad. The highlight was that my stomach growled and he stopped and asked if I wanted to get lunch, got lunch, and then resumed. Satisfied both needs in one. Story 3. I lost my virginity to my first girlfriend in high school while we were listening to a Weird L album. The song that was playing at the point of insertion was Germs. It was awkward and uncomfortable and made me associate Weird L, goddamn Weird L, of all things. With SX for years after that. I regularly regret past me's decisions. Story 4. Nice. Of course not great, we were both virgins, and 16. But it was really sweet, the guy was a, was a bit clumsy but gentle, and we both had pleasure, even if very far from an orgasm. We nervously laughed a lot too. It's a good memory, in the end. Story 5. I was 14 and she was 15. Had my house to ourselves. We dated for about a year at this point and decided the timing was finally right. We had the movie, The Collector, on TV. Things got heated as we were making out and she said she was ready to go all the way. Boy was I excited. Only problem was I was terrified of going raw thinking I'd get her pregnant from pre-cum or not pulling out quick enough. I also had no protection and for some reason thought you had to be 18 to buy it. So I did what any 14-year-old horny boy would do. Took a rubber glove, rubber banded that thing on and took her to Pleasure Town for about 3 to 5 minutes. Afterwards she cried because she thought her first time would be more special. Me being selfish never thought that hey, maybe taking a girl's virginity with one of your mom's nurse's latex gloves isn't very romantic. It all worked out in the end, we continued dating for about in two and a half years and got a hell of a lot better than our first. Friends loved this story so figured I'd share, sincerely, the rubber band man. Story 6. It sucked. It was an early release day. I was 16 and I had my own car. My former so and I planned this day as it would be our one year anniversary. We brought blankets, he brought a condom, I wore a dress for easy access despite it being about 30 degrees out there. I'm cringing just typing this. I also thought it'd be funny to wear Batman undies since he liked comics and things of that sort. Oh boy. I parked my car in a secluded spot by my school and we sat in the back of my small 1998 Honda Accord. I reverse parked it so we could see, see any oncoming cars entering the parking lot. At this point it was rainy and in foggy out there. We secured the blankets, covering the windows should anyone look in, and I took down whatever chain hung around my rearview mirror so no one would recognize the car. A lot of thought went into this day. So there we are, sitting in the back seat, watching Bob's Burgers on my phone because nothing says romantic like cartoons. I don't know if I want to keep typing. Well, we awkwardly start making out and I put my hand on his groin. And he's unzipping my dress. We go down on each other. His balls smelled, and they smelled bad. So I put the condom on for him and sit on his lap. Mind you he's a big guy and we're in a tiny car. So my head is tilted against the roof of the car and I'm awkwardly trying to position myself. Again, he's a big guy so I can't really get my knees on either side of him. It hurts, but we keep going. After trying different positions and failing, he finishes and I'm bleeding. At this point, the car is fogged up from the inside and it's still pouring. I put my undies and bra back on, we take down the blankets, and he cleans up. As I'm exiting the back seat to get to the driver's seat, this random guy on a bike passes in front of my car and we make awkward eye contact. I take my so home and head to the library to volunteer because I'm a good girl. We still laugh about it to this day and I still have the undies I lost my v-card in. I hope you guys feel as awkward as I did writing this. You're welcome. TLDR awkwardly lost v-card in back seat of car whilst watching Bob's burger. Story 7. 
Backstory, me, my best friend, we will call him Chris, and my at the time girlfriend were at his house watching movies since his parents didn't give a buck what they heard. Someone could be screaming bloody murder and they wouldn't so much as flinch. Story, my girlfriend and I were sitting on the couch next to Chris, watching The Collector. 45 minutes into the movie she snuggles up to me. My 14-year-old brain was like buck ya hot bitch to my left and watching a movie could life get any better? After a while she started squirming and I thought she was uncomfortable, so I started massaging her back, who said chivalry's dead, found put she wasn't wearing a bra. So like the good fellow I was, I massaged her titlets. Keep in mind it's pitch black and Chris couldn't see a thing. After 5 minutes of this I turned to Chris and asked him if he could leave the room for a couple of minutes, he kinda just looked at me and gave me the biggest shit eating grin two 14 year olds could give each other. Long story short I put it in her but by accident, she screamed and I jerked off when I got home. Story 8 Sloppy, wet, sweaty and messy but we were both virgins and learnt a lot for next time. Second time around was much better. Story 9 Nervous, unsure, quick, my parents were at a ball game and there was only one door between me and my GF of the time and my sister and her friend. It was not very romantic at all and I honestly kind of regret it but she kind of pressured me into it and for a 16 years old boy having a girl with her legs open in front of you, well when in Rome. Story 10. Level 1. Squeeze it girdle. 5 year ago edited 5 years ago. Oh Jesus. Both myself and girl were first timers at 16 and 17. I was 17. We didn't have a condom, so we used saran wrap. I'm not kidding. That girl ended up stalking my future girlfriends for the next three years until she was put into an asylum for unrelated reasons. If you made it this far please consider pressing the subscribe and like button. Now continue to the video. Story 11. TBH it sucked lol. I was 15, his parents weren't home and my parents were on the way to pick me up so we didn't have a lot of time. It was kind of like you take your clothes off and I'll take mine off, let's do it. Don't remember how long it lasted, but I do remember having to eat dinner out with my parents afterwards and feeling super awkward. Fast forward 10 years, I'm married to him and SX is awesome. We learned how to get better at it together and each time we improved, just took a little time to figure it out. Story 12. I wasn't very turned on, so the guy didn't get it in very far. Eventually we stopped trying and I jokingly said well at least we are not virgins anymore. The guy agreed that I wasn't a virgin anymore, but said that he still was BC he didn't get it all the way in. And then we dated for another year ugh lol. Story 13. We were both 23, both virgins. We had been best friends since 4th grade, and had crushes on each other the whole time, but didn't know it. Consequently, we kept friendzoning each other until I got too suspicious he also had feelings and asked him out. He said yes, 2 months later, we decided to try a sex. The first 2-3 to three times, he couldn't really get it in, so we were both like, meh. The fourth time, we had foreplay for a solid hour, and what do you know, slid right in. After that, I suggested we start using lube, and everything has improved significantly. We're still together. Very in love. Awesome SX life. Can't get enough of him. Story 14. It was nice. We were in the back of a minivan in a park at 2 in the afternoon. The seats were taken out but we had to avoid the metal bars the chairs hooked onto cuz they got really hot. I couldn't come cuz I felt like people were watching me. Ended up just getting a handjob and coming on her stomach. The whole experience was an hour and a half. The reason why it was nice is we just naked cuddled for 3 hours and talked. She didn't care she was happy with it. She broke up with me two months later because I am way gayer than I told you. Story 15. I was drunk at a party, some guy, and I got flirty and in one thing led to another. The S the SX was awful, he came in like 30 seconds. I had to take plan B and got really sick. Great times. Story 16. I was a virgin she wasn't. I came in my pants while fingering her. 
went down on her after to get some time for the little fireman to take a breather. 20 minutes after I got scared I can't get it up. I didn't get it up. She was super understanding and kissed me on the neck and said I did great and next time it will be much better. I got hard as a rock. It was much better when my penis was involved. Story 17. For me it was great, first time was with my wife. That was 9 years ago. Still happily together. Have a great son too. Was a huge turnaround from being a loser that sat in front of a PC playing WoW all day. Story 18. Bizarre. You know how the stereotype is that the guy comes and then can't make the girl orgasm next. Well the opposite happened. I was repeatedly able to make her orgasm, but I couldn't come at all. She called me back a few times after that and the same thing happened. And I had an Osul experience. So I don't really understand. I haven't had SX since then. I'm unsure of what to think. At first I thought I was actual, because I never felt any enjoyment. But that can't be true, because I do have a soul drive. I'm afraid I'll be like this with the next woman I'm with. You could not imagine how awkward it is be in at the hour mark of your SX session, and she's saying I really want to make you come come for me. Meanwhile, your D is going soft I in her. Like. Buck dude. Also, I have no idea as to how I was able to satisfy her. She texted me afterwards telling me how great it was. But like. I've never done it before. So there's no reason I should have been that good. But she's the one who always asked me to come back for more, even when I'd make excuses as to why I couldn't come over. TLDR, I bucked her so hard that I'm confused, confused. Story 19. Came three times in a 20 minute period. Didn't know that was even possible. First time, she was rubbing it and I cam on my chest, embarrassing I know. Five minutes later, second time, giving me head, nut while she was still sucking. The day I understood and lived that meme when you nut and she keeps sucking. She came up after and said, you taste yummy. I died a little. Also five minutes later, we had SX and I came inside her. Good times. Story 20. I was 16, we were both virgins, and I wasn't experienced enough to understand you need good floor play before starting. It was a rough time. After about the third time and a bit more experience it was wonderful though, pretty sure we did it every day for two weeks straight huh? Story 21. Mine was good tbh, I was 19, had a guy I trusted and cared for, we're still together now two years later. He wasn't a virgin, but he cared about my first time. Story 22. I was 19, with my boyfriend at the time. We were in a long distance relationship and when we finally met, everything was electric. He knew it would be my first time so he was gentle and caring, which I appreciated. We were together for two years before we broke up. He was my first love. Story 23. It was with my ex-boyfriend of seven years. It wasn't horrible. But it wasn't special. It wasn't cute or planned. We weren't clumsy, but we had no clue what we were doing. However, it was special to me. It always will be. If I could go back and change who it was with, or how it happened. I wouldn't. It was very basic. It hurt. But it wasn't unbearable. Bled the tiniest spots for about an hour. It was a very basic experience. But compared to how many many other people who had horrible first times, I got pretty lucky. Story 24. Straight out of a teenage rom-com. He was a couple years older, was a moody writer slash poet. We were house-sitting and watching a movie, The Family, 2013, laying on the floor in front of a fireplace on a shag rug. Wasn't terribly messy. He had experience I definitely did not. Story 25. I put a Trojan ecstasy on Inside Out. D went completely numb but I didn't realize what I had done wrong. Was very rattled. 
I figured out what had happened, got a normal condom, and made it up to her. Story 26 Definitely not as bad as people in my life made it seem. Yes, it was initially very painful but after a few minutes, I got into the rhythm of things and began to enjoy it by the end. By the second time we did it, I no longer felt that much pain and was no longer as shy. Both times didn't last too long but I didn't expect a full porno on my first time. Plus, I also liked the guy so I felt a sense of comfort. Jokes on me though cost the dude ghosted me three weeks later. Thanks, buddy. Story 27 We were both 18 and in her dorm. Her roommates were gone for the weekend so we were kicking it and having a grand old time. She had a shower fetish so she asked me to shower with her and I figured why not. Things got a little steamy until I literally slipped and fell down and hit my head while I as hard as a rock. Instead of asking if I was okay, she just hopped on and started riding me. Dazed SX was definitely an interesting experience that I did not enjoy. Would not recommend for first timers. Did get better over time though so that was a plus. Story 28 He was somewhat experienced, I was not and he knew that. We tried 2-3x and couldn't get it in due to vaginismus. He went back and forth from being really excited that I was tight, horrified that he'd hurt me, and perplexed on how I could logistically give birth to children. When it finally worked, it didn't really feel good to me due to pain. He was disappointed that I had no idea what I was doing and it was hard ignoring the pain, it radiated up my spine, slash keeping rhythm. He was happy about it, but it wasn't really a bonding experience that people obsessed about and gushed over, and I felt awful after, like society had lied to me. I think he noticed and told me I was really good at it, complimented me, etc. Later, he referred to me as a dead fish when we were alone and he was upset. I had body image issues and a lot of issues around SX and it took me years to get through that. 